Cash in my pocket and I'm ready to spend. Cash in my pocket, ca- cash in my pocket, got cash in my pocket and I'm ready to spend. Cash in my pocket, ca- cash in my pocket, set Porsche outside and I'm ready to go. How you doing, sir? What is your name? Tyrell Godwin Fritz. Okay. Um, I heard they call you the dog whisperer. Why is that? Well, some people call the dog whisperer because of the gay news article. Okay. But my true dog trained the name from Trinidad and Tobago is Thunder International. I was Thunder in Trinidad. Okay. And I met a guy here in a restaurant in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. And he saw me, he said, Wow, Thunder, you're here? I said, Yes. He said, Well, you're international now. Mm. And I jumped in my jeep. I said, Hmm, Thunder International. That's it, you know? Okay. And I like the fact that uh, you teach the dogs very, very quick. How's your style where the, the dogs get it almost immediately? Sit, sit. Ooh, good girl. It's all technique. Well, I'm not doing it since I'm seven years old. I'm doing it all my mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's very important to make the dog understand the concept. I mm-hmm. try to make it as simple as possible. Mm-hmm. I okay. try to make the dog feel as comfortable as possible. Yes. I know. Make the dog feel uncomfortable, they can't really. Take a longer way to comprehend. Okay. I'm trying to teach. Stay. I'm going backwards. Stay. You go forward and say, hey. Stay. I'm going to a guy today. I went yesterday and day before. Mm. We have a lawsuit now in, in mm. Westchester. Okay. We sued a, they sued a pet store. Mm. The pet store telling the dog is a little shy. Mm. I went the first day. Okay. Second day I went. And what happened? The dog was walking around the house with me. And he got upset. He like, wow. Wow. What happened? But it's not his fault. He's not a dog trainer. Do you find it more difficult to get to the owner than you do to the dog? 99.9%. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the owner sometimes doesn't understand the tricks you're trying I to teach him? The, dogs is, the dog is just a victim. Okay. Like what makes him love you so quickly? I think it's my, my, my fault. Mm. The energy I'm sending out, I always speak out with positive. I'm not a negative guy. Okay. What's up? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh, how was it to train Brody? Because that was your first uh, student. You know, body's a little different to her. Okay. A little different, different temperament, different disposition. So you so found Brody easier to train than Gally? No. It was a little, was a little tough one. Oh, really? Did you get Brody at an earlier age or was it around the it's same not, age? It's not the age, I think it's just the dog disposition. Lexi, sit. Good girl. I'm supposed to be a dog trainer. Definitely. Yeah. I'm doing a job that I love. Not mm. because it looks good, it's more than that. I love doing this. I don't get that. Who's sitting there? No. Because I don't fight with the dog. For me, it's all about communication. I want to communicate. I like the biggest problem I have with some people. We have to communicate. If you're communicating with me, no matter what it is, we fine. Because when you're not communicating, I get kind of real stress. Okay. But I'm changing. I'm working myself, and I'm changing that now. And I will vouch for that. You do have a, a great rapport with the dogs. It's not a screaming thing. It's not a bullying thing. They're very much at ease. Thank you, sir, for being a part of the Trader Breeder Show and helping us to even get the dog's IQ to a point where everyone is like, we need one of those rich dogs, one of those good gene dogs. So <laughs> thank you for being a part of the Galaxy French Bullies. Two great dogs. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be as great as they are without the training, so I'm thankful for that. Yeah. It's going to be a fun journey. Definitely. Wish you all the best, guys.